hi guys how are you all doing so i have a space in here over here that i would like to utilize the because i have a lot of succulent that is in the pot and i want to display it so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put a three layer shelving and i can display my arrangement that is in the pot so any any space vertically that i can use i will use it so i will install a shelving here between this post all the way up here so that's what i'm trying to achieve all right guys so let's start i already have a timber here this one here i'm going to use as a shelving just one one timber of that and then I'm going to cut some pieces of this block here that I'm going to attach here to hold my shelving like that so only three layers will do and I'm not doing it myself my husband will going to help me with this one all right my husband is putting up the bracket <laughs> and I think he was confused because he wants to go fishing but he ended up in my garden instead <laughs> the captain of the boat ended up to be a gardener <laughs> so maybe we were going to secure it there you go and, uh, <laughs> <it's perfect. laughs> I right, better go and help him. <laughs> better use a. Hang on, I'll get the spirit level. So one shelf is already done. It's a very quick project. As long as you already cut your timber. So there, one shelf up and only three shelves that's going to fit in there <laughs> the second shelving is already done and we will do the other third shelving some other time because it's getting hot in here there it's getting better more space more um space for my plant potted plant since we didn't finish the project that day and it's getting warmer so we decided to go on with the fishing and cruising around the river so it's a give and take and everyone is happy so guys this shelving is finished and before i'm going to put some of those potted plants that i have i have this um this one here this ant killer but i prefer the other one i have before than this one so but i don't remember the name and i'm going to spread these granules around here because I noticed that there's ants crawling on this timber so I'll put them here now this one here um, it really helps me a lot you will know that ants is one of the transportation of millibugs and aphids to transfer from your other plants so by putting this or spreading this it will going to prevent that isn't it so there you go I'm, I'm going to put around the poles as well here so like the legs of the poles there the legs of the shelving so that they will not crawl from there as well there now so that's fine now 
so put that away now these are all the potted plants that i gathered around my garden that's just cluttering everywhere so some of old arrangement that i have that actually needs some cleaning look there are lots of dead leaf underneath but then they were everywhere in my garden i have this one here uh, this is mendoza and some arrangement that i made before so i'm going to place them here to look better and organize now this one will just stay here for a while i don't have room for them because i'm trying to let the color stay by getting a strong bright light so join me guys don't go anywhere so we will just put those potted plants now this one here is a i try to make it like a bonsai look but i don't think it's working well but still grows beautiful this really needs a lot strong bright light but as you see it's they are all just a shaded one so maybe we'll try to put it here in that corner so that it's just going to get a nice uh, direct sun also this mendoza i like this mendoza to get a strong bright light or full sun so put it there Now this one here is my mother's day arrangement still looking good and the ruby necklace need a strong light to maintain the purple color these ones that I can like. look at this one guys pretty in this side and at the side that plant spills at the side of this pot now this is a echeveria elegance look how pretty is that guys so pretty now this one here yellow and blue and a light green there or light blue but i have a anacamp ceros here the variegated one that i just purchased this week it's so pretty look at the color beautiful so i'm going to place it here so i have another one here same pot beautiful pot with some of a agavoids succulent ebony so i'll just put it here because this is just newly planted so they are not rooted yet another briar rose crested this really needs to put in full sun to achieve a nice red color like this one here but i don't have room for that so i just put it here so i have one of these guys this is a pseudo looks good but i'm not sure how will it goes in here at the bottom this one needs a good bright light as well strong bright light I'll just observe them if the color or the plant will attire light and change color and I'll remove it. Here we have this beautiful um, sedum burritos. <laughs> I think I can put that one here. Beautiful one. They're getting cramped. Put some rock in here. So let's get a closer look now there you go guys so these are all temporary because the potted plants that i want to put here are this kind of pots here like this so it looks better and looks good but for now this will do to organize these potted plants that i have here and it will be displayed nicely and it will not be cluttering around the garden so here we are how pretty is that guys so cool so good isn't it so it's just all common plants 
but they are nice to be displayed if you display it nicely in your garden yeah. there you go so this is new one for me it's still adjusting and a camceros variegated one so i haven't planted anything there yet so this one will be temporary that two will be temporary here this is a Crassula rogersii variegated yes yeah, pretty one and my arrangement this one is cat's eye or chihuahuaensis that's been damaged by a mildew then i spray it with a fung fungicide and that's what happened <laughs> but it's surviving it's good now we're getting lots of humidity at the moment it's hot then suddenly it rains this one is really hardy very hardy plant that's why i love it this one too very hardy hands and cheeks just need to clean those dead leaves because under that dead leaf there's new pups coming out so it needs to be taken off and needs to be cleaned so that one i don't know the identification so this is echeveria agavoids those three now someone told me this is echeveria agavoids ebony same with that but there's no red tips on the top so i don't know there you go now this one i just got this one from my local area for 13 dollars it's cheaper than going to buy it online briar rose it also needs some cleaning and this one this is a nice arrangement before but now it's overgrown so that's what it looks like now some of my uh ornaments is there been covered they grow so quick because maybe of my epsom salt there just move back there look this tokyo sun's really pretty isn't it guys beautiful compact and this one is a sedum or sedum i don't know what sort of sedum this one but it's beautiful so there you go guys another ways to declutter and organize your succulent and display it nicely and at least it's not cluttered around the garden although i'm running out of space too <laughs> i don't know where to put some of them i think maybe i have to stop propagating but i don't think i can <laughs> I, I will keep propagating so there you go another shelving another organization that was there perfect and this one i think i'm going to sell this one i don't have room anymore so but just locally i forgot i have another one here now this one get no room anymore so this is pretty i'm not sure what's the identification for this also needed to be clean in the middle that's perfect there you go so i have room for them now and that's it for now guys um, i hope you enjoy this video and get some idea on how you organize and display your succulent garden or succulent pots and before i go guys i would like to say hello to elsa bonaisa or elsa bonisa from davao city philippines kumusta ka na sana ay nasa mabuti kang kalagayan at salamat sa iyong pagsuporta at sa pagtangkilik mo sa aking youtube channel at ingat ka lagi my friend at sa lahat po ng taga davao city maayong adlaw or gabi sa inyong tanan so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoy watching this video and if you enjoy watching this video guys please give it a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time you have a new video like this you will be notified and you will not miss a thing and also don't forget to leave me a comment and i will get back to you as soon as i can so guys 
Hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you.